He's been everything that you can ask out of a quarterback. Uh, just putting your players in position to win and getting the ball to his playmakers. And if he got to do it himself, he, he does it himself and takes it like 50, 60 yards. And uh, that's all you can ask is just steady growth. And that's what he did. I think we could say definitively that Justin Fields' worst nightmare has officially come true. And that's obviously assuming that the Chicago Bears are leaning towards drafting Caleb Williams with the number one overall pick over trading the number one overall pick. So before we get to the content, make sure you drop like, subscribe, and turn on our notifications to help the channel grow. Now that we get all that out of the way, work. Look right over here, you'll see all of these wonderful human beings that have been able to make some money by playing prize picks. And I give away my picks for free each and every day on my Instagram at the Flight Mike and Snapchat at Flight Mike Snap. And right now they're hooking up my subscribers fat when you use my promo code Flight Mike when you sign up for prize picks. And thank you, prize picks. For the sponsor. Mike check 1212. What's going on, everybody? This situation between Justin Fields and the Chicago Bears is so bizarre. The only thing that even really remotely compares to it is what the Arizona Cardinals went through in 2018 with Josh Rosen. But at least in the case of Josh Rosen, they gave him one year, he looked like a terrible QB, and then they moved on from him. Could he have been successful with the Arizona Cardinals otherwise? Possibly, but I guess we'll never really know. In the case of Justin Fields, however, he was starting to really hit his stride with the Chicago Bears this past year, throwing 16 touchdowns and nine interceptions, completing 61% of his passes, and also adding 657 rushing yards and four touchdowns. DJ Moore had the best season of his entire career with Justin Fields as his quarterback, so the result was DJ Moore wanting Justin Fields. Somebody asked me that last week, I'm still like, bro, where are y'all seeing this? Like, what, what makes him not the quarterback for the Chicago Bears right now? I get, y'all got everybody coming out. What, it's like two of them? I don't think they better than Justin, so they cool. But on top of this, the Chicago Bears actually started to look competitive in the latter part of the season, with victories over Minnesota, Detroit, narrowly losing to the Cleveland Browns before beating the Cardinals and the Atlanta Falcons. So even fans said that they wanted Fields. Echoing down here at Soldier Field. Loud and clear, they're talking to Ryan Poles and Hey, Kevin Warren, we want Justin Fields. Don't go get another quarterback. Eventually, Justin Fields concluded the season saying goodbye to the Chicago Bears because he knew that this could probably be the end. Um, I gave him my all, so um, whether it's here or not, you know, uh, I have no regrets. Um, shout out to, you know, you guys for, you know, making my job a little bit harder. But, um, yeah, uh, just to the city of Chicago, love y'all. Appreciate the fans and the support from all the Bears, you know, in case this is my last rodeo with y'all and just appreciate y'all for everything. So. Since then, we've been speculating on this channel what Justin Fields' future might look like. And there were so many candidates for Justin Fields' services, from the Las Vegas Raiders, to the Pittsburgh Steelers, to the Denver Broncos. There are some great fits for his services as well, like the Minnesota Vikings. And you have to bear in mind, this is much more dense than, is Justin Fields a good quarterback or not? It has more to do with the fact that Justin Fields is on a rookie scale contract, so you pretty much get two years of a rookie QB on your roster that was a first round pick in the 2021 NFL draft that has shown that he could perform when the right pieces are around him. And you have two years to determine whether or not he is the right fit for your system. And the craziest part about all this is it would just take a second round pick. But as the off season moved on, we started to see that no one really valued Justin Fields. The Pittsburgh Steelers signed Russell Wilson on a veteran minimum contract, which is a remarkable deal. We made our own video on that. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers kept Baker Mayfield. The Atlanta Falcons preferred a post Achilles tear Kirk Cousins and paying him $45 million a year as opposed to Justin Fields. So the question is, who does Justin Fields go to now? Well, Justin Jefferson would like Justin Fields to be his next QB. Um, you know, we have to build on, um, you know, for after Kirk or, or whatever. Um, the case may be, but uh, having Justin Fields brings a little bit more uh, pressure uh, to other teams by having, you know, a dominant quarterback. Uh, like he is. And then shortly after, the Minnesota Vikings signed Sam Darnold to a one-year $10 million contract, which means there's only one fate for Justin Fields, according to Adam Schefter. There are teams out there that would rather pay all these other quarterbacks than Justin Fields. 
And so now he's sitting there, and it doesn't look like there's a starting job out there at this particular moment. And so the teams that are looking at him would be looking at him as a backup. And the Bears will have to wait to see what opportunities arise, but it certainly doesn't seem right now like anything is imminent with Justin Fields. And the problem for the Chicago Bears is twofold. So many teams made moves for their quarterback position in free agency. The Las Vegas Raiders signed Gardner Minshew. The Atlanta Falcons signed Kirk Cousins. The Pittsburgh Steelers signed Russell Wilson. And you probably don't want to trade Justin Fields to the Minnesota Vikings because you'll play him in your division. What if he turns out to be a superstar? So the only conceivable solution at this point, at least in my head, is if a team in the top three in the the NFL draft doesn't want to reset the clock fully on a rookie scale contract at the quarterback position, then they should trade Justin Fields. The only situation I could see Justin Fields going into to start now would be the New England Patriots. And the reason I'm saying the New England Patriots is this is the only team that pops up in my head that would want a rookie contract for two years and then address maybe another position of need for their team, like wide receiver. They've been heavily pursuing Calvin Ridley during free agency, but this is a team that has so many holes on their offense that trading for Justin Fields and seeing whether or not he has the potential to be your starting QB over the next two years and then punting on him two years later if he doesn't work out while you get to address other positions of need on your offense might be the move for the New England Patriots here. Or maybe you even have the opportunity to trade out of the number three overall pick, especially because the Minnesota Vikings clearly look like they need a contingency plan at the quarterback position. Unless if you guys actually believe that they're going all in on Sam Darnold for a year. The craziest part is, is the Minnesota Vikings would be an awesome situation for Justin Fields, but I don't think the Bears want to send him to a division rival. The Las Vegas Raiders sort of make sense, and he'll compete with Aiden O'Connell and Gardner Minshew to be QB1. But then there's the fact that his former offensive coordinator is now with the Las Vegas Raiders, and we don't really know if that's a good thing or a bad thing for Justin Fields. Which means at the very end of it, Justin Fields is stuck. And the craziest part is Dan Graziano says that he's heard that teams valued Gardner Minshew, Sam Darnold, Drew Locke, and even Jacoby Brissett over Justin Fields. These teams do not view Justin Fields on a one-year deal as any kind of better option than, and the list was Gardner Minshew, uh, Drew Locke, and uh, and who else signed yesterday? Brissett. Sam, Dar Sam, uh, Sam Darnold. Darnold, yes. Which now creates an even bigger problem, because if no team wants Justin Fields, what do you do with the number one overall pick in the NFL draft? Do you go with Caleb Williams and then have him compete with Justin Fields? Do you have Justin Fields okay. just back up Caleb Williams next year if you select him number one overall? Are you forced to trade the number one overall pick in the NFL draft because of this Justin Fields situation? Because before, we were all assuming that either way, the Bears can't go wrong they could either trade Justin Fields for a potential second round or third round pick and they can move forward with Caleb Williams or they could trade Caleb Williams to a team that's in desperate need for a quarterback and potentially receive a haul of maybe two or three first round picks and it seems like now they're being pushed in one direction and this was clearly not what the Chicago Bears wanted at the same time I'd imagine that this isn't what Justin Jefferson wanted either because now Sam Darnold is looking to be his starting QB let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about all this how do you think this Justin Fields nightmare is going to end? Aside from that, I'm your boy Mike. I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.